Hi everyone, today I'm going to get to do something very fun. I'm going to get to craft with Momo. Long distance, we're not together, but online we'll be together in our crafting idea. So we were both on Facebook late last night and we decided it would be fun to do something similar today. So we're both making a Halloween slash children's project of some sort. So I decided, since I just got the paper doll dress up, that I would make a card with a little children dressed up. So I have all my little bodies cut out or on this side and they're cut out at three inches and then I have all their little costumes. So I have the monster costume, the ghost costume, the skeleton costume, and the mummy costume. And I don't know that I'm going to use all of those but I wanted to see how they all looked so I'm going to cut them all out. So let's go cut this out now. Here's my little guys and I've decided to use the skeleton, the monster, and the mummy. So I still have the little ghost, and I think I'm going to use him on a different card because he's so cute. But there's just too much white with the skeleton and the ghost, so I figured I would switch up the colors a little bit. So what we're going to do is we have a brown base card, and then I have this really fun candy corn paper, which actually came from the Cloud9 Specialty Photo Mats. I love this stack because it covers more than the Halloween holiday. It covers a few holidays in the fall and winter. And then we're just going to put some tape on here. and then mount this down. I like all these words we make up in the scrapbooking world. And then we just go around saying them like they're real words and everybody in the world should know what they mean. And when my non-scrapbooking friends come over, they're like, what are you talking about? So I have to remember when I'm talking to them, but we're gonna take some tan ink and we're just going to dull up this mummy's wrappings because I've never seen a mummy that had clean wrappings, 100% clean. They're kind of dingy and plus it gives our little guy some dimension. So there we go, there's his and then we're gonna glue him together onto his little body. Then we'll glue him on and there's his little Buddy, isn't he cute? We're gonna put a, we're gonna put a face on him. Is he cute, buddy? Yeah. He's cute. Okay. Then we have our monster, and I think I'm gonna have to cut out some shoes for him because I don't think people would go trick or treating barefoot. But I'll have to do that after the video. Okay. So let's put his little monster costume on, and then we're actually gonna give him a face here in a bit. Okay, so there's him. Then we'll ink our skeleton with a little black around the edges. Inking is a nice, fast way to add some dimension to your characters. Okay, so there he is, and I'm just gonna use the little tape runner again. And glue him on his little guy. Okay, so there's our t three little people, and I'll get some faces out. First, I want to put an orange mat on it so they can sh so they can pop. This is actually Post-it craft paper, and it's fairly new. And I love it to work with the kids because it just peels and sticks, and it's repositionable, so you can peel it right up if you don't like where it's at and start over. It's just like that. It's like stickers. And so basically you can make stickers for your kids to craft with. I got to try it out first at CHA and that's where I fell in love with it at. So, all right. Plus if you have little tiny things that you need to cut out, then the whole thing's adhesive already. So that's nice. Okay, and these guys are going to hold hands right here, but first I want to get their faces. So we're just going to ink up our peachy keen face and stamp the monster's face. There's his little face. These are actually Sizzix faces that I picked up at a different, at a different craft fair for s creating keepsakes. And we're just going to ink his face right there. And then we'll leave the skeleton as he is. Okay, so there's our three little monsters. Now we're going to pop dot them on. There's our first one. I love how sticky pop dots are. If you have a hard time getting any certain things to stick, I'll always use a pop dot or a glue dot. They just 
seem to hold so well. Almost too well. <laughs> okay, and then popped out this other one right over here. So there's our three little monster friends. Aren't they cute? Yeah. All right, so now we need a sentiment. So we'll use the Haunted Movie Ghost stamp set. How about Happy Fright Nights? Nope. I said no. Or Spooky Greetings? Spooky Greetings. Spooky Greetings? Okay, Spooky Greetings it is. The three-year-old says Spooky Greetings, so the mom says, okay. Oh, and I want to show you something really cool you can do with your stamps. Um, it's not just the Pink by Design stamps, you can do them with any stamps, but I'm going to show them with mine because I have them. So let's see. We're going to make this in a wave. So basically I started, this is a straight greeting and I just curved it on the block how I wanted it to be. So now you can do that with these stamps and it turns out pretty cute. And I think we're going to put some yellow down here to bring out some yellow. So we'll take the black ink and we will stamp our, our swirled greeting now on the yellow paper. Now we have a fun greeting. Okay, isn't that cute? Yeah. This is Tim Holtz Tiny Stapler and I love it. It's so much fun. So we're just going to put it right here in the middle and we're going to staple it once at the bottom and once at the top. And that's it. Spooky greetings. There's a Halloween card. What's Wyatt?